you ever want to transfer games from your PC to your Steam Deck? Valve certainly didn't make this process easy, though with an external hard drive or a flash drive or whatever, you too can transfer your games from your PC to your Steam Deck. If you like our content, please enable notifications, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join our Discord server in the description below. High Tech Low Life is also affiliated with the Steam Deck Discord. Links in the description below. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using this external hard drive. You will either want some sort of dock or a USB on the go cable, preferably with USB 3.0 or above. In Steam, you'll want to click Steam, click Settings, click on Downloads, and then click on Steam Library Folders. There you should see a pop-up. Uh, hold on for a second. There we go. There you should see a pop-up. You see that plus icon? Click on that plus icon and then you'll be able to pull up a dialog. Essentially, you'll create a new Steam Library Folder. Choose the drive you want to use. In this case, I'll be using G. And there you go, the first step is done. Now you can choose to either directly download games to that hard drive or transfer games that you've already installed over to that hard drive. So right click the game, click properties, then go into local files, then press move install folder. There you can choose to move your content to a new drive. In this case, we're going to move this to G drive. Click on move and the process will begin. Depending on how big your game is, this could take a while. In this case, Momodor is a pretty small game, so it didn't take that long. And for any game you've already installed on your PC, you'll want to repeat this process again. This game in particular took a lot longer to do, so yeah, there you go, it's done. But let's say you don't have any games installed on your PC. Well, the good news is you can just install it directly to your hard drive. If you click the install button for a game, it gives you the choice to choose a drive. In this case, we're going to choose the G drive. Once you click next, the game will install to your hard drive directly. And there you go, the game's downloading. Be sure to do this for any other game you want to install as well. For whatever reason, game mode does not support external hard drives. So you'll want to go in the desktop mode on your Steam Deck. A mouse and keyboard is recommended for this part right here. Once in desktop mode, you'll want to open two tabs. One from your hard drive and one from the internal SSD or SD card. Once you do that, it's a matter of copying the games over. In this case, the SD card is labeled primary. You want to go into the Steam Apps and the Common folder. On the hard drive side, you want to go into Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and you'll see the four games I installed. Just copy them over, like so. Yeah, move them if you want. Yeah, this is going to take a bit, so I'm going to skip this. Once the transfer is complete, you'll want to go back into Steam and then choose Install again. Be sure to choose the correct drive. In this case, we put it on the SD card, so select the SD card. So bear with me. It looks like it's re-downloading the files all over again, but what it actually does is it starts the download, but instead, it verifies that there's already files on your drive. It's validating the files to make sure that they aren't corrupt or anything like that. And if everything's good, it should be complete. Do note that some games still will require you to download Proton compatibility files, so keep that in mind. You can actually install multiple games at once by holding Shift and clicking on the games in question. In this case, we're just going to use this to validate the installs on your SD card. Once you're done with that mess, you'll want to go back into game mode, you know, to play these games, of course. There you have it. You can now play your games. We're going to try this awesome rhythm game, Unbeatable, White Label. I actually made a video about this game a while ago, so be sure to check it out in the description below. It's episode 2 of a series I created called Indie Watch, in which we look at indie titles and we determine whether or not they're worth your time, but more importantly, whether or not they're worth my time. Give it a watch, and let me know what you guys think about it.